The Super Mario movie is here, so I definitely want to make something to match it. I feel like I always make the characters though, so let's do something a little different. Let's make the Super Mario plumbing van out of cake. In this video, I'm going to show you all how I'm elevating the car up off the ground a little bit. I have a window trick I want to show you, and then we'll finish it off with some easy details. All right, let's get started. To start this cake, you will need this special board. So it's just a thick piece of foam core that I covered in fancy foil to make it food safe. As a reminder, I will put all the templates and the supplies and just everything I can think of that you need to make this cake. I will put a link to it down in the description box. So if you need that, be sure to go check it out. The cakes I'm using are 10 inch square cakes that I cut in half. So each layer is 10 inches by five inches and that works out perfectly for this cake. And I'm filling it with layers of chocolate Swiss meringue and whipped ganache. I have two car templates here with the wheels cut out. And just so you know, I covered the templates in some clear packing tape, which kind of, I think, laminated it. And that will keep my templates nice and clean. I'm placing my templates up against the cake and then I can begin carving. I think this is a pretty simple shape. What I like to do is cut a line down the middle of the cake and then I work on one side at a time. That is looking beautiful and now I can cover it in a layer of chocolate ganache. To elevate this cake, you will need these two boards. It's another thick piece of foam core and also a cardboard cake board. Glue these together and they are the perfect height that we need. My cake drum is already decorated and I'm just going to pull out some of the fondant and then I am hot gluing the two boards down onto the drum. The boards don't look very pretty though, so let's cover it in a strip of black fondant. Okay, I'm ready to attach the cake to the stack of boards. I used hot glue to make sure it stays in place, but you have to be careful with hot glue because once you set it down, you cannot move it around. So make sure you get it in the right spot. All right, that looks perfect. We are now ready to cover this in modeling chocolate. My cake is covered in modeling chocolate. I think it looks pretty good. So let's move on to the decorating. If you look at the van, there is an indentation back behind the logo. To create this, cut a piece of cardstock or a cake cardboard, and you take that piece and you press it into the cake. And it should leave behind an indentation. And then you can smooth it and clean it up as you need to. For the windows, there's a hard way to do this and an easier way. I'll show you both because I did it the hard way first. The harder way would be to cut out the windows using the template and then pull out that modeling chocolate. At that time, I went back and added another color inside the window areas. I thought it looked only okay. It was a little bit messy and I couldn't get it perfect. A better way to do this is to add the windows first. So put the window color on and blend the edges into the ganache. Then you wanna cover the entire cake in the yellowish orange outer color. And now look what happens when I cut out the window shape. Doesn't that look so much better? Another thing you don't want to forget is making various lines around the cake. Let me show you an example of this first car cake I made back in 2009. So at the time I looked at it and I couldn't figure out what was missing from it. And when I look at it now, I can immediately see that it's missing the lines for the doors and the trunk. So just use a ruler or straight edge to create those lines. I think it makes it look so much more realistic and you can tell where the doors are and where the trunk opens. So you don't wanna forget those. From here, you can add as many details as you like. Car cakes are very time consuming, so just add what you have time for. The tires are made out of modeling chocolate and if you need help making these, I already made a tutorial for those in my Kirby car cake video. So I will put a link to that video at the very end of this video. Also, if you add some details like the gas tank or maybe a keyhole, those are small and unique details that people really do notice and they always think are so cute. We're adorable! The top of the van has plumbing pipes and a ladder, but I was getting really tired so I thought I am going to make these with candy melt so that it's easy as possible. 
The latter is just red candy melts poured into a ladder mold. You can pop that into the freezer and then it comes right out of the mold. Look at that, it looks so cute, doesn't it? For the pipes, I cut out a rectangular piece of acetate and then I poured some gray candy melts just on one end. You wanna make sure you get it all the way to the top and bottom edges. And then I used a bench scraper to push the chocolate down towards the end. This is a little bit messy, but I rolled it up and then I taped the end. So then I just popped it into the freezer and then once it was set up, I could easily unroll it. And look at that, it looks just like a plumbing pipe. Now I can stack all the pieces on top of the van and if you need to attach those with some more candy melts then go ahead and do it. And then I also added some strips of modeling chocolate to match the van too. And let's finish it off with the Super Mario Bros logo that I printed on my edible image printer. And there it is, my Super Mario Bros plumbing van cake. This cake took a little bit longer than I had anticipated but overall I'm pretty happy with it. It looks like Mario and Luigi are about to hop right into this van and take off. Did you know that you can actually call or text the Super Mario Bros. plumbing and you'll get an actual response? Have you seen the Super Mario movie yet? Let me know in the comments. My daughter and I loved it so much. Alright, thank you all for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Bye everybody.